Welcome to another podcast. Today we're talking about gait cycle. To begin, we're going to be talking about a few fundamental definitions. The first is base of gait, and the average base of gait is 3.5 inches. So what does that mean? Uh, Base of gait is defined as the horizontal distance from one heel strike to the next heel strike. The angle of gait is defined as the angle formed by the longitudinal axis of the foot and the line of progression. It's measured by bisecting the center of the heel in the first inner space with the sagittal plane. The average gait angle is seven degrees abducted per side or about 12 to 15 degrees total. Stride is the distance between two consecutive contacts of the same foot. For example, heel strike of one limb to heel strike of the same limb. Step is defined as a period from heel contact of one limb to the heel contact of the opposite limb. Each stride consists of two steps, usually of equal length. Our gait cycle can be broken down into two phases, the stance phase and the swing phase. The stance phase is the weight-bearing portion of the gait cycle. It begins with heel contact and ends with toe off of the same foot. Swing phase is just how it sounds. It's the non-weight bearing portion of the gait cycle. It begins with toe off of the support limb and ends with heel contact of the same limb. Stance phase is further broken down into contact, mid stance, and propulsive. We'll talk in detail of each of these. During the gait cycle, we're in stance phase 62% of the time and swing phase 38% of the time. It is important to know the percentage 62 and 38%. The stance phase, like we talked about, was broken down into contact phase, mid stance, and propulsive. The big idea here is to know that mid stance takes up the majority of the time, followed by propulsive, followed by contact. Remember, contact phase begins at heel contact and ends with forefoot loading or toe off of the opposite foot. Remember that it occupies about 16% of the total full gait cycle, which is about 27% of the stance phase. Mid stance phase begins at forefoot loading of the same limb, toe off of the opposite limb, It ends at heel lift of the same limb, and it makes up about 25% of the full gait cycle, or about 40% of the stance phase. Propulsive is from heel off to toe off. It's about 20% of the total gait cycle, or about 33% of the stance phase, and it's when the foot becomes a rigid lever arm for propulsion. Swing phase begins with the toe off and ends with the heel strike. It's about the final 38% of the full gait cycle. This graph shows the total gait cycle. Remember that stance phase is broken down into contact, mid stance, and propulsive. Let's look at some questions that you could see. The swing phase of gait includes what percentage of the gait cycle? In this question, you have to know the difference between the swing phase and the stance phase and which takes more of the full gait cycle. We talked about the swing phase is 38% of the gait cycle and the stance phase is 62% of the gait cycle. Don't mix those numbers up and you can answer this question. So the answer is B. Which of the following muscles are not active during the swing phase of gait? For this question, you really have to know your anatomy and to be able to reason through this question and just picture someone walking in the normal gait cycle and thinking through which muscles are firing and which muscles are not and knowing your extensors, your flexors, and all of your muscles and anatomy. All your muscles and anatomy come into play here. If we think through this question, 
we think what muscles do we need for the swing phase of gait. And we need our extensor muscles, which will help us clear the ground and swing our foot forward. So the muscle that we don't need during the swing phase of gait is the gastrocnemius. So the answer is A. Some of these questions is not worth memorizing what muscles are firing in the gait cycle, but just knowing the anatomy and reasoning through the question. During the stance phase of gait, what accounts for 40% of the phase? So if we remember how the stance phase of gait is broken down, it's about 62% of the total gait cycle, and we know that it's broken down with 40% being the mid stance, 33% for propulsive, and last is 27% for contact. So the answer here would be B. The angle and base of gait per side are blank and blank respectively. This question is answered by recalling that the angle of gait is about 3.5 inches and the base of gait is about 7 degrees and that's 7 degrees abducted per side or about 12 to 15 total. Most of the questions you see on this topic can be answered with really knowing the anatomy but you must understand and know the stance phase being about 62% of the time and the swing phase being about 38% of the time. Thank you for watching on the topic of gait cycle. Good luck.